Hey everybody, Skyler here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can buy Luxo through the exchange KuCoin. So before we get going, just know you will need to create an account at pro.coinbase.com as well as attach your bank account to pro.coinbase.com and then you will also need to create an account at kucoin.com as well for we will be using both of these exchanges to enter money in the market as well as trade and get that Luxo token. So now that we have everything set up, let's go to pro.coinbase.com. Once you get to the landing page, you're going to want to go to the top right and click Portfolio. And once you go to Portfolio, you are going to want to deposit some USD or some United States dollar. You are then going to want to click on the bank account that you just connected. You're going to go down to the amount, put in the amount that you want and then you are gonna click preview deposit. Once everything looks good, you're gonna hit deposit USD. You are then going to want to trade that USD for a Luxo trading pair on KuCoin, which currently you have USDT and Ethereum. You can find what trading pairs are available on coingecko.com. Now let's hop back to Coinbase Pro and make a trade. Once you have that USD, you're gonna wanna convert that USD to Ethereum or USDT. So in this, as you see, we're going to convert it to Ethereum, we're going to hit market price, we're going to hit the max amount of money that we have, and we're going to place the order, and the order should go through pretty quickly. Now just for kicks and giggles, I'm going to take this Ethereum, and I'm actually going to convert it to USDT, just because that is the best trading pair on KuCoin, it has the most volume. So as you see, I'm gonna go hit market, I'm gonna hit sell, hit max, place my order, and as you see, when I hit portfolio, you should see it pull over, and now I have my tether. So as you see, it's pretty quick. So now that you have the tether, we're going to want to transfer that tether over to KuCoin. So we're gonna to wanna to hit the withdrawal address, then you're going to click on USDT, and then we're going to need to insert our crypto address, which we're gonna get at KuCoin. So if you go up and click assets and main account, you can actually search for Tether in the search bar, hit the deposit link, and then you should see the actual coin address and wallet address for KuCoin. We then go over to Coinbase Pro, we paste that into the withdrawal address, and make sure you have the amount you want withdrawn and hit withdraw. It may have you verified depending on the security settings that you have up, but as soon as this is complete, it may end up taking five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, but eventually you should see it transfer over to your KuCoin address. Now that the Tether has been put in the main account as you see, we are gonna to wanna to change it from the main account to the trading account. So hit the main account, and then we're gonna to go to over to our USDT, we're gonna click transfer, and then we're gonna max the amount and send it over to our trading account. Once it is in your trading account, we are going to want to trade that by going up to the trade button and click spot trading. Once it is loaded up, you're going to want to hit the BTC slash USDT button and type in LYXE for Luxo and click the Luxo to USD trading pair. You're going to want to type in your trading password so you can make the trade. Click on the number that it's currently selling for. We're going to want to hit 100% and hit buy Luxo. You should then see your Luxo pop up in the bottom. It may end up taking a while for the order to go through. It might be really quickly but you will see the status of that trade on the bottom right there under open orders. And that is it, you now have purchased Luxo. Now from here you can obviously keep it in a KuCoin, transfer it to many different wallets out there, but this is how you essentially would buy it on KuCoin. Now you can also buy it on Uniswap, but a lot of time Uniswap fees are really high, so this a lot of times is the cheapest option. And for me personally, I believe this is the cheapest option going through Coinbase Pro and then switching it through KuCoin and then transferring it to a DeFi wallet of my choosing but uh, yeah I hope this video helped and if it did I'd love to get a like a subscribe um, and yeah see you in the next video take care guys bye